Welcome back. Well, the real estate and mortgage industries are considered essential businesses. So what does that mean exactly to home buyers and sellers? Well, Angela Witte, a real estate agent at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties, is here to give us a COVID-19 update for real estate and mortgage. Angela, great to have you back on the show. So uh, just give us an idea. I mean, it's such a unique time right now. What's going on in the real estate market here locally? Um, as of right now, uh, people ask all the time, how is the market? It's probably the biggest question I get. And I always tell everyone that it hasn't stopped. So if you take a look at this graph, overall sales from this year versus last year are actually up. And what's really surprising is that homes that have sold for more than 450,000 have also increased this year versus last year. Just like this home here that you can see was just listed last week. Wow, that is fascinating. So how about with the mortgage industry? I know, I know rates have been down, but how is that being impacted? So the lenders that I am working with right now have been saying they're the busiest they've been in the last 20 years with new loans and refries. And actually the government is currently purchasing mortgage banked securities to keep the rates down. So the government actually is wanting people to take advantage of these low rates and buy homes. And the rates are still historically low. They're as low as, you know, the two and three percent. They're not as low as in 2007 or 2008, but the rates are very, they're still very appealing. And can people, if they want to, can they still go look at houses physically or how, how are you doing that? Oh, absolutely. Um, we're taking all the necessary precautions. I know a lot of people want to bring their children or friends and parents and stuff with them to these, but at this time we're asking them not to bring any extra guests with. Um, we're also providing gloves and booties and hand sanitizer during these showings. We're asking sellers to leave their lights and inside doors open to kind of um, limit the touching inside their home. But we can also do FaceTime or virtual tours as well. That's awesome. Um, so for people that are uh, buying a home right now, how do you kind of walk them through that process? Well, right now, the glory of it is we can do everything virtually up until the closing. Um, title companies are doing curbside for closings. Um, what they'll do is they will bring out your documents to you and you can sign them in your car. Um, and when it comes to loans, you can fill out applications online or over the phone, whatever is most convenient to you. And um, the lender offices are closed in the bank lobbies, obviously, as well, but they are all available via phone and they'll walk you through it every step of the way. And if I want to list my house, what's that process like right now? Um, right now, it's, you know, we can do everything virtually as well and it's kind of what the world is moving to. So it's really a good time to list just because so many people are spending time online looking at videos and pictures. So uh, we can take a video um, today and then post it online for the social media to look at tomorrow people are taking advantage of these low rates and there's a lot of serious buyers out there right now. I was gonna, I think I asked uh, someone else that works with you, but if you had, have you sold a house yet with somebody that has never like walked in it or seen it physically, they just did it all online? Uh, not as of yet. A lot of people are looking at all the homes and then um, we'll go and take one tour. And I've had wow. one where they actually only saw it once inside the home and then we wrote an offer. So. It's working. I was going to say, that's amazing. So if people want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Uh, you can give me a call at 701-799-8641 or send me an email, Angela at bhsprepproperties.com. Angela, great stuff as always. We appreciate it. Thanks for the uh, the great. graphics that you sent us as well. That was yeah. fantastic. So Sounds have a great day. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> have a great day and keep up the great work. So. Uh, all right, stay with us. We got much more coming up right here on North Dakota Today.